As a young man of 19 when you arrived here, what was life like in Australia? Prison. If I could find 100 pounds, I would walk to Brisbane to get to the boat to go back home. And I, you, you can't compare living in cities, living in a big town, and then come in the bush and see nothing. But I love the place, and I'm still here. I came in Moriba, 1950, and I ended up in, they used to call Shandy Creek Road, on the bottom of it, that's where my relation at the tobacco farm. And I started crowd back in 1951 with Philip De Vlees. Then I grew one year with Tom Howe in Bill One, and then I went to Ahmed Farm, 1954. And I started there, and then the first pick machine come in Moriba, which I don't think they got any fathers of that. But we used to string, and there were girls stringing on top. And tobacco, I've been in tobacco ever since. I retired from tobacco in 1996. Well, my greatest achievement as a tobacco farmer, I managed to buy my own place and I grew my four daughters. I had four daughters, which they are, uh, I educated them of tobacco farm and I went and, uh, and that's where it was my success. I reckon achievement on tobacco for me, it gave me life and it gave me uh, a belonging to a place where I you know, worked and have my own place and involved with the communities. When I was a, 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 a young girl, I used to have to help my parents. Uh, was it in the seed beds, planting, covering the leaves and the plants, uh, then pulling off the paper, helping to go and uh, do suckers and topping, and of course, stringing. We used to be there from uh, as soon as the stretches come home of tobacco till, till it was finished at night. Sometimes it was eight, nine o'clock. And I, the next day I used to have to go to school. Then uh, I, got, I got married. I married and from then onwards we used to have uh, so many men in the paddock and we used to have to cook for them, wash and even iron their good clothes plenty of times. And then you had your, your children and used to have to go under the shed to string or pull out barns and then later on grade and all your household duties and uh, and kids at school and whatever had to be done a wife's job on the farm <laughs> My father was one of the original farmers who started farming in 1930. He bought a block in Paddy's Green for 300 pound in those days. It was a 125 acre block. Uh, my mother came from Italy 
1940. And I recall the, the early years when I was a young child, my father, all the work was done using horses. Uh, and then I recall when my father first bought a, a tractor, it was a farm all, and how the whole uh, method of farming changed and made life a little easier to what it used to be when we had the horses. Uh, it was very difficult being uh, dry farming. Uh, life was very hard because uh, a whole time you depended on the weather conditions but at least in those days there seemed to be compared to today there seemed to be uh, you could predict the seasons a lot easier. Uh, it was very intensive farming having to to do everything by hand. I was born on a tobacco farm during the war years and my mum worked really, really hard and I think a lot of people forget how hard the women worked on tobacco farms. They did all the washing and cooking and strung up and did the paddock work and everything. I can remember my mum with two of us in the field and a baby in a box, in a kerosene box and she was chipping while us two little ones looked after the baby. And, um, and I remember wearing uh, flower bag pants. My knickers had uh, Simpson stock raisin flower stamped on the back of them. Of course, I wasn't the only one. I didn't like it much when I was at school. I never played leapfrog. <laughs> Back in the 1930s, uh, tobacco was a hit and miss crop. There was uh, probably three, four thousand farmers growing tobacco in the 30s. In 1933, about 3,000 went bankrupt. So it was very hard. Tobacco was hard right up till probably the late 60s, when a bit of mechanisation came in, a bit of stability in the industry to stabilisation and which gave farmers a lot more confidence uh, to spend money on the industry. The tobacco industry meant everything because, uh, you know, while we had a, a grazing industry uh, at our doorstep and uh, cattle sales in Mareeba, we had a meatworks, uh, we had a sawmill, uh, the tobacco industry just added that on top uh, that uh, uh, made the area grow far greater and far faster than would have been the case otherwise.